Welcome to the Understanding Asthma Research video series brought to you by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America's Paper Project, promoting asthma, patient engagement, and research. This segment will cover clinical trials. I'm Dr. Michael Pistner, an allergist at Mass General Hospital for Children. I'm here to talk to you about the importance of patient engagement in research and how you can help researchers ask the questions that are important to you. Together, we can improve the lives of people in our community. After watching this video series, you'll have a basic understanding of asthma, be able to recognize some of the common symptoms and triggers, and learn more about uncontrolled asthma and asthma attacks. You'll also understand why it's essential for those with asthma and their caretakers to be involved in asthma research. After watching this segment, you'll have a basic understanding of clinical trials. A clinical trial involves research using human volunteers and is intended to add to our medical knowledge. There are two main types of clinical studies, clinical trials and observational studies. In this segment, we'll talk about clinical trials. A clinical trial is the best way to prove a treatment or medical approach works. Sometimes a clinical trial can't be used. For example, scientists can't randomly assign people to live in different places or ask people to start smoking or eating an unhealthy diet. What's it like when you participate in a clinical trial? As a participant, you are contributing to research to benefit future patients. You may or may not receive any benefits to yourself. You could receive specific interventions, treatments, with a medical product like a drug or a device. You might have a procedure. You may be asked to change a behavior like diet or exercise. The researcher will compare the new drug, procedure, or change in behavior to one that is already used. The scientists are trying to figure out if a treatment, procedure, or behavior is safe and effective by measuring results of the study participants. Sometimes they compare a new medication and a placebo, which is a fake pill or inhaler that doesn't have a real medication in it. By comparing a new treatment to people who don't receive the treatment, it helps to learn whether a new product or approach will be helpful, harmful, or no different than available alternatives, including no intervention or treatment with a placebo. You will hear or read about a clinical trial being in a certain phase. There are four phases to a clinical trial. In phase one, researchers will check for safety in humans and select the dose for future study. There are usually less than 100 participants in this phase. In phase two, Tests are done to see if a treatment works on a small group of participants. There are usually 100 to 300 participants in this phase. Phase three proves or disproves the treatments and monitors effects on a large group. There could be a thousand or more participants in this phase. Phase four will start when there has been a media announcement and release of a new medication. During phase four, Researchers are beginning to look at long-term use. There will be thousands involved in this phase. When you engage in research, you're shaping the future of asthma care for yourself and others. If you're interested in participating in asthma or allergy clinical trials, ask your healthcare provider, contact a local asthma or allergy specialist or academic center, or visit afa.org, clinicaltrials.gov, or pcori.org. This presentation has been brought to you proudly by Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America with funding by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, PCORI.